I feel um, strangely flattered and violated at the same time here. So I was checking for the hashtag on YouTube that I've been using recently to promote the Adobe Learning Summit in Las Vegas, hashtag Adobe LS 2018, you know, and I saw a few of my videos and then I saw one of my videos, but it was missing the thumbnail. And I thought that was really odd. So I thought, well, geez, maybe I made this video unlisted and I forgot to uh, actually make it unlisted or something like that. And uh, when I clicked on it, it's like, okay, well, this is definitely my video. Captivate 8 Tips and Tricks with Paul Wilson, right? I'm Paul Wilson. Um... <laughs> And I'm like, this doesn't look like one of my videos. Like I'm looking at the description, all my hyperlinks are removed. Uh, you know, and it, there's some, like it, they copied the exact description, but stripped out all my hyperlinks and then put a link to another video. I'm not gonna click it cause I don't know where it's gonna take me. Uh, so I thought, well, I just might as well document this cause I've never had this happen before. Um, so clearly this is a copyright violation. Someone has literally stolen my video. It almost looks like it's out of focus or maybe that's just the quality that they did or I don't know if they were filming the screen or if they actually used some kind of weird downloader. But here's the process. So when this happens to you, if you're doing your own YouTube channel, you just click the, the three little doodads there uh, next to the thumbs up, thumbs down, share. And I'm going to click on report. And um, this infringes my rights, right? So I'm going to select infringes my copyright and then hit next. And it brings me to the Google support uh, claim here and some information about that and confirm that I'm not a robot and uh, da, 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 privacy trademark and uh, copyright infringement. Who is affected? I am. Video to be removed. So let's go grab the URL for this particular video. And uh, yeah, so this this first example would be that. So my YouTube video was re-uploaded by another user. And let's go find my original video if I can. So I'm pretty sure this is the same video. And I'm just going to copy the video URL. And I'm checking off it's the entire video. Um, and that's good. So to submit a copyright infringement notification, please complete the following required fields. So copyright owner name, YouTube username or full legal name. So my name is Paul Wilson and, um, what does this mean? So I am the owner of the original original copyright um this is fine paul wilson my address so now i have to just confirm i am the owner yes I have in good faith belief that blah, 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 blah. this notification is accurate. I know that maybe the adverse legal may cost me. Yep. I understand the business. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. Type in my full name, Paul Wilson. Let them know once more that I'm not a robot. Submit complaint. There we go. So thank you for your submission. Please note that if more information is needed to process your takedown request, we will email the address associated with your account along with additional email addresses you may have provided. If you receive one of these emails from us, it's important that you reply with the request, blah, 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 blah. So there you go. 
Um, interesting. So again, it's like I said, it's a weird feeling because um, I'm a little bit flattered that someone feels that my content is worth taking. Um, you know, because usually copyright violations are done by uh, or against very famous movies and things like that. So uh, it's kind of cool, I guess, in a way. But at the same time, no, I don't want you to take my work because I worked very hard uh, over the last three years to do the videos that I do. So, uh, no, I don't think it's a good idea that you can take my stuff and repost it as your own. So, there you go.